fifth grader, so I need you to be quiet down now. I'm Ms. Lewis Wolfson, some of you may know me. I know I know some of you. And I'd also like to introduce Mrs. Dobson. She's going to be helping me out today. Um, and we're going to be looking at that Candy's assessment. That Remember that Candy's assessment you did, I think, on Monday? Um, and we're going to be looking at different ways that students use to, to solve some of the problems. Okay. Before we do that, I'm going to pass out a blank piece of paper. I'm going to call this your think sheet. And what I'd like you to do with this is put your name kind of big at the top as you, uh, that way those of us, your, our visitors in, in the room here can know what your name is. And I might even be able to call you by name. Three, four, six, and eight. Pass that down. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Mrs. Dobson. And you're welcome to do to write on this. I want go ahead and put your name on this. And as we think about the math today, at any time, if you want to write anything down to keep track of anything, you you can use this for this. You can use both sides if you need more. We have plenty. Okay. So there you go. I'm going to hand this back to you. And uh -oh. um, first, I want to talk about. Uh, I told. Uh, we're going to be looking at how different students approach the problems in that Candy's assessment, and we're going to talk like we are mathematicians. We're going to discuss, as mathematicians do, about um, how the different approaches and strategies make sense. Okay, what I need you to do is listen really carefully to the others, other students who are talking and see if you can hear something that they say that makes you change your mind. Okay? And as you, as you look around, you are very aware of the visitors in your classroom. You recognize some of the teachers in here, and you see the camera in here. What I want you to do, or I want you to know, they are curious um, about how you learn, and they're here to 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 think about um, or look at how you think and and how you learn about math. So could you please make sure you speak loudly and clearly when we are talking? There will be times when you'll be talking in front of the whole class and times you'll be talking in your pairs. So if you can do your best to speak loudly enough so that, that we can hear you, so we can learn about how you're, you're thinking about the problems. Is your hand up? Did you have a question? Oh, OK. <laughs> OK.